Good morning, Glam Fam. It is the day of the Armed Forces Natural Hair and Health Expo, so I am trying to get myself together. I was planning on wearing my hair super big today, but my scalp was itching, so I had to do something about that. So I'm gonna try to create some fullness, despite the fact that my hair is now clean instead of like third day dirty when I would usually get some fullness. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing this jacket back here. You guys can see it's incredibly extra. Super, super busy. Um, this is just... This is me. It's not even like hair show me. This is just like Tuesday me. I just like the statement that it makes. It screams I'm a hairstylist and hello I am. I decided that I'm going to try out a new product today as well. Uh, it, well, I've used it before but not on my hair so <laughs> we'll see how it works out with me. This is the Frisbee Gone Anti-Frizz Hair Balm um, which I have the entire line. The other stuff works pretty well so I'm going to see how this agrees with my hair. It's honestly not a good idea to do it on the day of a show, but <laughs> you know, I live life on the edge and the Lord blesses, so we'll see if he blesses today. It looks like a gel and my hands look super dry and crusty. Them things need some lotion. At any rate, yeah, I'm not sure how to feel, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> do your best, Lord, do your best. <laughs> Using prayer hands as usual and I'm applying towards the mid shaft and ends because again, I want a good degree of body. Now, I could usually use a diffuser and it would give me dryness without a lot of interruption. But honestly, I want the interruption today, so I'm going to blow dry my hair, which is probably also a bad idea. But um, you know what? It's just, we're just living life on the edge today. I'm going to blow dry it without the diffuser. So it's liable to be really big and possibly still frizzy, despite the fact that this is supposed to fight frizz. I feel like I'm doing stuff to cause frizz. So I guess I really can't complain about it if it is frizzy, but you know. Hey, what better way to test out a frizz-free product, right? I'm gonna put some extra right in through here because this is the Jesus help section. This is a section that will cut up in the stove if I don't uh, get it right at the house. Think about your kids and apply it to that area of the head. So I always have to put more product, more attention, more time right there in the crown, um, which is pretty commonplace for a lot of people. So I ain't tripping. I'm liking the definition it's given so far. I can definitely tell where it isn't because it's like, look, it looks frizzy right through here. So, I don't know, we don't pray about that. So initially, uh, Melina, Makeup Mina Ree, was not going to be at the show, but now she is going to be at the show. So she's gonna be helping me out with filming and stuff because I'll be doing a class, my Hair Care 101 class, and my students are gonna be doing braiding class for the public. So I'm excited about her getting some clips of my students and I working with the public on how to braid and things like that. So that's really exciting. We'll have basically a room full of hay. That usually creeps people out. But you know what? Hey, it gets the job done. I feel like I have too much product in my hair. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop. I may end up applying a little bit of water just for some spreading. Because there's still some areas I feel like need something. But I just don't want to pile it up. So if you'll notice, I always apply extra product right around the outside edge here. And it's kind of one of those things where I feel like it's more important that this area not be frizzy than the inside and all that. So that's why I apply on the mid shaft and ends and then primarily on the outside edge and in the Jesus help section. And that way I can still get a good amount of body and lift, but it doesn't look frizzy from the front. It doesn't look frizzy from the sides. You see definition that sits on top of frizz and it's just like all of your hair is defined. So, Hopefully, if it acts right, I'll be able to show you guys what I mean there. So I'm going to blow drop no diffuser with my head downward like this so we can get as much fullness and lift as possible. Okay, so I'd say my hair is about 80% dry. Uh, it's still a little damp on the ends, but I'm not worried about that because again, I want that definition there. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and massage some at the scalp. And what this does, it helps to create some roughness and fullness there. So, uh, remember how I told you guys that one time my hair was full of deception and lies? This is one of those deceptions there. So my hair is not super thick. This is just a technique that I do to make it look like it has more fullness without making my hair look like, child, what did you do? Um, it just gives a better amount of fullness there. So you guys can kind of see how this is filling out as it dries the remainder of the way. It will fill out some more. But I'm not going to think about this hair anymore right now. I'm going to let it dry the rest of the way naturally. But you guys can see so far it's looking like the, the balm did its job. It's still a little too wet up here for me to do any mess in there. So as the day goes on, you guys will be able to kind of see how this hair is looking and all that. So I'm going to go ahead 
and throw on my shirt uh, now that I don't have to worry about product stains getting on it and then throw on my jacket and I'll meet you guys at the show. Unfortunately, Allison won't be there today um, because she's graduating from a ministerial program at church and so super happy for her. I know she's ready to be done going through these classes, <laughs> but uh, as a result, she will not be there. The girls won't be there. Makeup me and will be there. My mom, I think, is planning on being there. So there'll be some cameos, but just not by that division of the glam fam. They will be here terrorizing the house and then terrorizing the church. So bless the Lord. Hey, you guys. So I'm here. Ah! Hey guys! <laughs> With Makeup Mina <laughs> Ree. And we have been gossiping in the car. So I mm -hmm. guess at some point we should go ahead and probably head inside. Yeah, we should probably. And I need to vlog too. I am here last minute. I was not planning on coming here today. But it has been some drama. Yeah. Extenuating so, circumstances. Yeah, so I'm here. So y'all get me too. <laughs> Amen. Thankfully, she's going to be able to get some clips and things like that of like when I'm teaching and things like that because we're going through like some hands-on braiding. We're going through my hair care 101 class. There's quite a bit going on and my coworkers will be here too. So that's, that's a relief as well mm -hmm. because it helps to have multiples out here at one time to be able to be like, hey, set yourself yeah, down. You, you have know, a bunch so, of kids yeah. running around. So. <laughs> I told you, I promise. The kids grow up, but the same stuff that little kids enjoy is the same stuff that they enjoy. So like uh, motivators, like stickers, stamps, right? things like I'm that. Telling like, you, it I still like works stickers in high too, school. So. Like, oh, anyway, so you guys can see the product and the definition. Mm, definition. Mm. <laughs> yeah, wait. There you go. The There's ain't no Find definition the light. up there. Find the light. Yes, chase the sun. <laughs> okay, anywho, we're gonna go inside and I'm not carrying y'all in there because we got too much stuff to carry, so I'll see you in a minute. So here's the setup for the braiding class, and like I said, it's a bunch of heads on tables. Ooh, ooh, oh <laughs> hit it with him. I have to say the braiding class was definitely a success. There's my mama. Um, so you guys are able to kind of see, here's where I'm kind of roughly going through some information with some people. But honestly, after this, my students pretty much handled everything on their own. I mean, it was amazing. Teaching advanced techniques, all sorts of stuff. So I was really happy about that. This here has to be one of my proudest moments. I am standing back. So are the other instructors, no hands on. Students occasionally, as you can see, are asking questions, but from there they are teaching the people in the room. So I'm not really having to do anything, which is amazing. They were even encouraging other people. You guys can see here, this is one student teaching two people at the same time. Way better than the first time I did it. <laughs> and then came my class here. <laughs> okay, so for those who weren't here when I first started out, my name is Linda Darkest. You have a packet in front of you. It has a little bit of information, but I'm going to give you a lot more. I'm with you for an hour, and I'm very extra, if you can't tell by my outfit. So, <laughs> I think foil or kinky. So you got, and type four is where it gets confusing because uh, you hear a lot of people add letters that shouldn't even be in there. I've heard people like, I have that four Z area. That's not four Z. There's no four Z. Okay. So you got four A. Four A is where it's coiled. It's like those perfect ringlets. It's tighter than mine. Okay. Then you've got 4B. 4B is the one who throws everyone for a loop. All right, y'all, so it is the end of the day. I have been here since 9 a.m. And uh, it's now dusk. Look at, look at the duskness. At any rate, um, the show went amazing. I'm so, so, so happy for how the braiding class went. Um, I had several students that just kind of took it and ran with it, and I didn't have to do a whole lot of anything because they were just like, oh, you need to learn this? I got you, boo. Oh, okay, you want to learn this one? Oh, okay, cool. You need feed-ins? Let's do this. So I was really happy to see that, uh, to see so many students kind of take charge and take over. It's them hard so proud. But yes, it was a good show. My class went well. I did not have enough time to finish because I was running my mouth entirely too much but you know it's um I'm gonna just call it genetic and say that I can't help it so at any rate 
Uh, the day was really good. I feel like the show was well. I spent the whole day in the classroom, so I'll tell you that. I got to come out a little bit for Leah Janae, and I got to meet uh, Avon Dugas, who is the world record holder for the largest afro, but I did not take any pictures or anything with her. It was the end of the day. She was tired, and I just didn't want to be one of those people. So, yeah. But it was just... It was a good experience all together. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this behind-the-scenes stuff. I'm at the core... And it's, of course, all sorts of stuff on there. And Melina then went ahead and marked up my car uh, with her cards and stuff, too. But, yes. So, until you next time, you guys, take care. God bless and stay glam. You know I love you, boo. See you next time.